Hi, my name is Kayleen and I'm here in the BB Garage today to show you how to replace the chair pedal padding and cover on a combo chair. I've got two separate packages here. I've got one which is the neoprene padding that goes underneath the cover. So you may or may not need to replace this, but if you've got a divot, then this is your guy. If your pedal cover is looking threadbare, then this is your guy. This is a whole new cover. Today I'm going to do both of them at the same time so that you can see the process. Okay, so underneath your combo chair pedal, you will see that the cover is Velcroed on and it's tied tight at the ends. I'd like you to unvelcro this and feel around to see if you can find the ends of the strings. I don't know. There's some sort of magic happening in production where I can't feel them. So, in this case, I'm going to cut the strings. If you can feel them and untie them, then great. But because we're discarding this cover, we can cut them. If you were keeping this cover, don't cut them. There we go. So here's our old cover. We can put this off to the side. You can see under here that there is this neoprene pad right next to the Velcro. So let's go ahead and try and remove the neoprene. It should peel up and you're going to try and keep it peeling in as big of pieces as you can because otherwise it's their tiny pieces and it will make a mess and take forever, which not the end of the world, but it's possible. Happen. Okay. Okay, now we've got the big chunks of uh, neoprene off of this wood pedal and that's great. You'll see that it's not perfect. Um, we could be here all day trying to make it perfect. It just needs to be relatively smooth because we're going to stick new neoprene on over it. We happen to have a really good example here um, of sometimes your neoprene will come off very cleanly and you'll see this very bare wood here and that's an example of this particular neoprene pad came off in like two chunks right here, which was great. But the rest of it, we had to peel off in tinier chunks, which is annoying. So you may get one or the other. Depends on how old the chair is, how it's been stored, etc. So you never know. Okay, so we're ready to put our neoprene pad back on, our new one. Looks like this, and you can see it's square. But the one we just took off had a slot in it for the pedal. So we need to cut the slot. So I'm going to eyeball it by lining up the front edge, wrapping it over, and then looking at where this silver tube is. I'll take my scissors and cut two little notches here. One two, just so I know how wide the tube is and where it is. And then I'll make them a little bit longer. So they're maybe an inch long in total. This is just where I'm starting and we'll go a little bit at a time. So I'll go back to my uh, starting position and then I'll see if we can if the slot is big enough to fold this over. So it's not quite long enough, 
Maybe I'll go another half an inch or so. Okay, that looks pretty good. And actually, you can see here that this neoprene is a little bit too big. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the back edge, maybe a quarter inch. This doesn't have to be perfect because it's all going to be hidden under the cover. fits a little bit better. All right, I'm going, oops, got to go over this Velcro. Okay, so I think our slot is, is deep enough here. So I'll go ahead and cut this tab out. Wonderful, and then that folds right over. I think, there, I think I could still probably take off a little bit more of this edge here. So I'm gonna go a little bit more and then we'll put it on. Okay, well, they always say measure twice, cut once. That's what I'm doing here. All right, so I think that's ready. I'm just gonna have to be careful that when I put this um, on, I don't want to snag the Velcro under. So on the back of your neoprene, we've got this white paper. We're gonna peel it off. Underneath that, it's sticky. I'm starting in the back. I'm gonna slide it over the slot, make sure it's seated down. And then before I get too far, I'm making sure it's centered and it's not hanging over either edge. And then we will wrap it over the top of the chair pedal. And then when we come around to the front, just make sure the Velcro is out of the way. There we go. Okay, so that was probably the hardest part. <laughs> And it's done. So now, uh, to make it easier to put the um, cover on, I'm going to hook the spring up to the cactus so it's hovering like the other pedal. Let's take our cover out of the bag. This one has a slot in it, and it also has the strings pre-threaded. So you'll see on either side, the strings make a nice loop here. Um, so we wanna preserve this loop. So let's go ahead and drape it over. Being careful not to snag the Velcro because that will get things hung up. Now, when we Velcro the back, we're gonna make sure that we are pulling the Velcro that's on the pedal around the corner to make this corner smooth. 
Yep, just like that. And then we'll come across. There we go. Now we can come over the front. I'm gonna pull that Velcro up and the cover over. Just like that. So, it's good enough for now. We need to tighten the strings. So let's come on to this side over here and find the two ends of the strings. We're going to pull them tight. And then you'll notice that this sort of strings, uh, the strings pull it together. It's like a drawstring on your sweatshirt hood, okay? We're gonna pull it together pretty tight. So it's rounding over the edges there. And then I'll tie a knot in it. Now you'll see I have a ton of extra string here. We don't need all of it. I'm gonna cut it so maybe I've got an inch and a half left. Um, but if we tried to hide all of this string behind here, we'd get some ripples. So I'm gonna find my scissors, cut the strings. And then I may need to peel some Velcro out of the way so that I can tuck the strings up and under and out of the way. And then once that's done on that side, I can make sure that this Velcro is nice and taut. There we go. So that's one side. So let's repeat that on the other side here. Okay, so we've got our new chair pedal pad and new cover installed on your combo chair. If you needed to do the other one, you could do the same entire process on the other pedal. Otherwise, you're ready for a chair session. Thanks for joining me today. If you need more videos like this one, you can check them out at pilates.com slash bbgarage. I'll see you there.